Hey guys, Carlessa here on Contently Living and I am so thrilled that you guys stopped by as I clean up my fridge and my pantry and my freezer in this video. And at first glance, it really doesn't look too bad. It just seems like things are a little bit disorganized, but the other night I had some black olives and a Tupperware that flipped over and so the juice just went everywhere down below the vegetable tray and the fruit trays and things like that. So it got pretty messy. So we're gonna get all of that cleaned up along with my pantry and just getting things organized and put where they need to be. So if you guys like these type of videos and you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and to join me. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming cleaning motivation videos. So here I'm just going in with a little bit of all-purpose cleaner and some bleach just to kind of let that sit because like I said this was a couple of nights ago so it just kind of dried and that way it'll sit and while that is sitting I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning out the freezer. The freezer for sure was the easiest out of all three tasks, out of the fridge, the pantry, and obviously the freezer. It just didn't take as long. I just had to go through and wipe everything down and get some things out of there that were probably in there for too long and that were kind of, you know, freezer burnt that you know that even after you cook it, it's not gonna taste very well. So I just went ahead and did that as quickly as possible because obviously all the food is sitting out on the table and I didn't want it to completely defrost so I'm just going through and wiping up all the little crumbs and some little things that may have spilt in there from before and then just putting everything back. So I just wanted to share a little bit about us and our diet. We are vegan vegetarian. Um, we eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I try and really not to buy a lot of sweets, especially now with COVID, you know, your immune system is greatly compromised with a lot of sugar and processed foods. So I am really trying to cut back a lot on that to try and fight off this virus. But um, in the fridge there, I had some olives, black olives in a container, and somehow they spilt, and that is what is spilled all in the bottom of my refrigerator. So I'm just working on cleaning all that out getting in between those grooves of those shelves to make sure everything is all clean. So today I wanted to share some thoughts that I've had this week. And most of you guys know that including in my cleaning videos, I try to talk about issues that I feel that we can all relate to and how we can really live our life contently, which is obviously the inspiration that I had for my channel. And today I wanted to share with you guys our strengths and our weaknesses. What are your strengths? What are some areas that you excel in and that you know that you were good at? And what are your weaknesses? Sections of your life that could definitely use some improvement. And I'll use an example that I have. My strength that I feel like that I have excelled in is that I am a determined person. And once I put my mind to something, I know that I can do it. I'm proactive and I'm a problem solver. And my weakness that I'm gonna use as an example is I'm not very good at time management. I am constantly underestimating the amount of time it takes for me to do something and before I know it, I'm rushing and I'm running late or I don't get to complete something as well because I am spending too much time in one area and I need to move on. And so this week I've been thinking about this and I realized that my weaknesses can actually decrease and lessen the efficiency of my strength. For example, if my strength is being proactive and a problem solver, and my weakness is poor time management, if my time isn't managed well, how productively can I actually solve a problem if I've consumed all of my time in other tasks? So in contemplating all of this, I realized I really need to work on my weaknesses. But how exactly do I do that? And that's what really made me scratch my head. How do I gain tools for something that I am naturally not very good at? 
So a few conclusions that I came to was that for one, if I am poor at time management, I need to talk to someone, talk to a friend or a family member who is great at time management. Somebody that I know that they schedule out their day, that they complete their task nine times out of 10. It doesn't have to be perfect, but they are completing their task. They're not rushed. They're not stressed. All of those elements that come with being poor with time management. Also, I need to be aware that this is a problem for me and put more effort into doing better, like getting a planner and scheduling out my day and making time frames for tasks that need to be done or just plain saying no when I have too much on my plate and I can't stop to do anything extra. And also maybe getting up earlier is something that I can do, etc. But thinking about these things and putting them into my everyday life will definitely make things better and make this more of a habit. And last but not least is asking God for help. I am a Christian and I believe that there are many promises that I can hold on to and asking for wisdom is one of them in James 1.5. And I know that not everybody is a Christian, but for me, there is hope in asking a God who cares for me as a father. And I know without a doubt that he will help. So I will ask you again, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? And how are your weaknesses hindering your strengths? We all have them. And if you know someone who is struggling in an area where you are strong, take the time to encourage them and to assist them. Also, I would love for you guys to comment down below as to how these have hindered your life or how these have helped challenges become a little bit easier in your life, your strength and your weaknesses. I would love to hear about them. And I hope that this talk this week will invoke a sense of inspiration to take our weaknesses and our strengths and to make the best out of both of them. So guys, now that we got the fridge and the freezer check off of the list, let's go ahead and start on the pantry. And as you can see, they did not put extra shelving in here. I've just been kind of making do with like some wire racks. It has worked for now, but today I'm gonna go ahead and put some extra shelves in there, clean up. I spilt a bunch of pasta while I was taking stuff out, but just cleaning things up and getting things organized and nice and neat. I'm just gonna be using these white um, shelves that I got from Lowe's and some of these metal brackets that I've had around the house for a while. And I was like, you know what? I can use those for these shelves. And it cost me maybe six or $7 to do this, but it definitely made a difference in the space. So one thing that I was most excited about was getting things in these organizers. I got some from Walmart and TJ Maxx. I was buying them little by little because they can get a little bit expensive when you're buying a bunch at one time, but this is gonna help things stay more organized and just look a lot better when you open the cabinet. I've also bought this shelf probably two years ago and I've just never used it. So I was like, you know what, this would go perfect for little snacks and things that I can store up there. Now the extra food that did not fit into the canisters, I'm just gonna put behind there and then I'll put the food organizers right there in front and it looks so much nicer and just getting um, on the second shelf, I'm just getting snacks and things that the kids 
use more often that they can reach for themselves. Obviously, they're not going to be reaching for oatmeal and rice and all that stuff, but these little snacks and stuff, I want it to be right there so they can have easy access to everything. So shout out to my little handwritten labels. I had the stickers already and I was like, why not? I think it'll make the pantry look a little bit more uniform. You know, it just has like that, that feel of a fancy pantry, even though it's really not. But I think it turned out pretty cute. So remember this, and now it's way more organized and things are so much more accessible. I can look and see in the fridge and freezer exactly what I have and what I need. And with the pantry, things were just piled up on top of each other. There was no rhyme or reason to any of it. And now I can look and see exactly what I have and just grab it. You know, it's not me going through things and trying to figure out. I had so many things that I had bought two of because I really just did not know what I had. And now I can see exactly what I have. It actually makes me want to go grocery shopping again because I threw away so much stuff and I'm like man we really don't have as much as I thought that we did but now I have the space to store it and there's actually some type of method to the madness and I just went through and um, kind of organized these shelves a little bit and wiped them down some honey had spilt a little bit on some of these shelves and just got up the crumbs and stuff but it's all done but i thank you guys so much for watching i hope that this inspired you guys to do the same don't forget comment down below about your strengths and your weaknesses i hope that we can all work together with each other and um, i would love to hear from you in the comment section thanks so much for stopping by and watching and until next time i'll see you in the next one bye